just enjoy your sense of humor. You're like a tumor. You're in my head all day. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. These are the products that I use to complete that seamless install that you just saw. These installs will be sure to give you that perfect milk. Okay, so first I started off by bleaching my wig and making my um, concoction. I used two to three scoops of bleach and I just poured the developer until I got the thick consistency to where it doesn't run or don't fall off of the um, spatula. And ladies, you really want to make sure that your mixing is really fully and thoroughly so there are no chunks. It should look something like this, and if it's too runny, you add more bleach, and if it's too thick, you add more developer, and you just put it on. I start from back to top because the hair in the front does process faster, so when you do that, you'll be sure to get a better, more even, you know, bleach of the knots. So now when I rinse it off, I do rinse it and wash it with purple shampoo. But for this one specifically, it really didn't need it as the wig was from Amazon. So I'm not sure if it didn't bleach all the way or bleached just enough. And then now we're going to get into some plucking. I always part off that front row because typically that's where your baby hairs go. And I pluck behind it and then go. And then you want to pull those tweezers apart to get, you know, better gripping. And see me here. I'm not doing very much. I just kind of pluck. I don't pluck in the same spot. I pluck and move like such, and then I go back kind of doing the same thing. I kind of try to pluck the same amount of times going backwards and then going the other way again. Honestly, depending on how you do hair and how you pluck, there's really no right or wrong way depending on how you like your hair and how you like stuff. But for me, I like it to give that scalp effect. So I do kind of go into two to three rows and really get in there good. And you always want to make sure that it's kind of damp. Damp is a little better. And then when you get a little more familiar, you could probably start um, plucking with it dry. And for the remainder of this part, you're just going to see me continuing to pluck all the way throughout. And if you have any additional questions that I may not have answered for you, just be sure to leave a comment down below or DM me on one of my social media accounts. So once you're done, your hairline should look something like this, just not as thick as before. And now we're going to get into the actual install of the, you know, ball cap melt type thing. If you want 
specific details on how I do my ball cap method. I have one and I will be doing an updated one soon. So now the only difference is I do now use the HD caps because they're, they're so much thinner than regular caps. And if you see these in store, because now they're starting to sell them in the beauty supply, run. Do not walk and grab this and not that thick old bulky cap. Okay, so now once the ball cap method is done and dry for 15 minutes, we're going to go in and cut off all of the excess cap and get into gluing down that perfect melt. You do want to clean the forehead off with alcohol to get any leftover residue. And also, please, y'all try on y'all um, wigs before y'all actually start gluing them down. It really makes a difference in the way that most of these wigs are being made now. Sometimes they're too small and don't fit. So I really recommend that. Also, cut that ear before. Just save yourself the hassle. Cut that ear. And then here, I'm using my Ruby Kisses to go in and match this cap with her head and then I'm going to do three layers of glue and I'm going to sm smear it out and make it as thin as possible. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos and hit that bell to know when I post more tutorials. Now for me, I do blow dry it before I put the wig on, on just a um, cool, low setting. You do not want to blow dry with the heat or high. And after that, it's just nice and dry. And I put that wig on, comb the hairs back, and I'm ready to get into melting this lace. Ladies, I love making these videos for you guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell to know when I post more videos and tutorials. Ladies, combing that hair back in and into that glue will really make a difference, and I highly recommend doing this. And here, we're just getting into cutting that excess lace off. As you can see, I did do this one into three parts just simply because of how this wig was and it was you know more convenient and easy for me and i did not cut in a straight line i do know it looks like that but i am cutting in kind of a zigzag motion and for how i laid the wig it works now because this is a transparent lace before before going any further i do melt the wig cap for the first go around first and look how that lace just melted into her skin literally with just one melt and while that is melting, I'm going to get into doing her side part, as you can see right here, just to kill time and just to, you know, keep things going while I wait on that to melt without wasting any time. And side parts are very tedious, so just continue to take your time until you get the exact part that you want. And I always use mousse going in because that laying that mousse down, y'all, it really makes a difference. That mousse, especially putting the mousse down, letting it dry, putting your client under the dryer with this, when they come from under the dryer and you hot comb that, it's gonna be so flat. Okay, so now that the mousse is dry and that lace is melted for the first melt, I take it off and y'all look at it, it's melted enough. I don't have any makeup on it yet, so that melt is perfect. And I actually am going in and melting it again with my spritz. And this time I am using the dryer um, into sections because this makes that difference and it really, really holds. It holds. Like, look, it really holds. So once the melt is 
done i go in with some makeup and just put it all over and sometimes it the first time you put that makeup on it gives scalp but depending on the lace and where you got it from it doesn't always you know come through sometimes you might still have a tint and sometimes you might not um at this point i do recommend lace tinting um to get it you know where it needs to be so before this next milk i'm going to go in and i'm just pulling out all baby hairs and i'm going to hock on them down and then spray my holding spray again and go ahead and um melt that while i just hot comb the side sides of the side part to where they need to be it's very important that you hot comb those um edges down you don't really have to but for me i feel like it makes that difference with um when you take your band off from the milk and they're already down and in place and you don't have to worry about much extra. And y'all, tie that elastic band tight. I know those clients be crying, but they'll thank you later. And now I'm just hot combing my side part on both sides and you really want to go in piece by piece and hot comb every single piece. Literally, I don't care if it takes you 20 minutes to hot comb every single piece, you do that because that's what give that flat effect. And be sure to actually press that hot comb into the scalp. Um, make sure your client's hair is completely dry so that it doesn't burn or sizzle. But seriously, y'all have to press that hot comb into the hair. That's what makes that difference and roll it off. If you've watched this far, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell to know when I post more tutorials. Now that that's done and it's dry and everything and it's melted, I'm going to take my elastic band off and get into doing these baby hairs. For my baby hairs, I do hot comb them out again. Sometimes I pluck if needed and I cut them and curl them with my titanium flat iron. And after I curl them with my titanium flat iron, I uh, comb them out and then I use my mousse and my wig grip gel start off with the wig grip gel and then i use my mousse not too much mousse so that it's not soaking wet but just enough for it to have that soft effect using the razor comb over re regular scissors make a difference because it's already cutting it at different lengths so it's not like blocky and blotchy and then you don't have to worry about that. Y'all, that titanium curling flat iron thingy right there is the truth. It gets really hot really fast, but sometimes it gets too hot and it really kills my clients. But I do curl mine under instead of over. That way, every single baby hair is in place and it's smooth and sleek because that's what this install was for. And you see me put in that red group gel only at the top so that the entire baby hairs is not um, stuck together. And then I go in with my mousse to get that fluffy effect. And you always want to guide the swoop with your finger while you're doing the baby hair. And I know this might be a little confusing to start out, but it definitely takes practice. Like y'all, look at those baby hairs. They're sleek, they're shiny, they're given, they're full. There's no missing spaces. Like y'all, seriously, like take my advice and do your thing. This will get you more clients, more um, publicity, more eyes, maybe even more followers, more bookings. Yeah. And then you'll see me going back in again on those um, roots and just filling in wherever I missed it, wherever it's not blended and put that on. And then now I'm doing her part 
y'all a good part is nothing without defining it sometimes you define it to give it that mm, and sometimes you leave it just for the natural effect that's where a good eye as a hairstylist come in at to know what works best for you and here i'm literally just working the part um for every haired or hairstyle is different and also for every wig some wigs will come and you don't have to do nothing and then here i'm just literally using some water in my edge booster spray bottle to uh, moisturize the hair and you know get into putting my mousse on it and then i'm going to kind of just dry it to give it that um nice effect and you do want to kind of comb through the entire thing and here's my finished product like this is so cute and so sleek like i i love this it was cute it was nice it was clean the curls were formed and defined the baby hairs just gave her face is cute this was everything y'all so let me know if this helped you